Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with Morning Market Store for Wednesday, February 10th. Markets bounced back. We saw higher highs, higher lows, and an unchanged close. Stock index closed down four points in the e mini S&P, 1848. 1825 was a session low, which was higher than we saw on Monday. Dow futures ended up near unchanged, down 29 at the end of the day, 159.59. And the Nasdaq was a leading loser, down a quarter percent, down 20 at 39.44. The dollar pushed down to some new relative lows, 95.68 below 96. The close was down 49 at 96.09. The euro currency was on a run, 113.45. Just remember, a few days ago, it was over around 108, 109. So big surge yesterday, ended up closing up 75 points at 112.96. Bonds were also on the move. They peaked at 167.04, some new relative highs there, the highest in price in a year or so. And the close yesterday was 166.04, up three ticks. So it did give up some of those games, gains and came back to relatively unchanged. On the move was crude oil. Crude oil, even though the dollar was down, crude oil was down as well. 27.95 was closed, down $1.75. The session low was 27.75, which was getting very close to those, July, those January 20th extreme lows at 27.55. Got within 20 cents, but then did bounce back some. And lastly was gold, up a dollar, hanging out right at that $1,200 an ounce level, $1,199 was a close. So, after, again, higher, higher highs and higher lows yesterday, where do these markets stand on Wednesday morning? Well, we're positive, building, building on that base, up 20 right now in the E-mini S&P, with Europe stronger overnight. 1868 is where the S&P stands in the futures. Dow futures are up 130, 16,090, and the Nasdaq's up 57 at 4,001. The dollar's steady right now, 96.17. Uh, and we've got the uh, euro currency down 30 at around 112.63. Bonds are down 21, again, giving back some of those recent gains, 165.14. Update on the yields, we're at 2.59 in the 30-year and 1.76 in the 10-year note ahead of Ms. Yellen speaking here today. Crude oil getting a bit of a bid here, uh, up 60 cents at 28.55. Again, tried to test those lows yesterday, but failed. So we'll look to see if that's a bottom in place. And gold is giving back $15 after a big surge that we've seen over the last week and a half. 11.83 is where gold stands. So the question is, is a double bottom in place? We'll have to wait and see in both stocks and crude that attempted this week to take out those January lows and they have failed to do so and seeing some bounce back. So to update as we get into the last, uh, Two hours before the cash stock market opened, the E-mini S&P is up 20, Dow futures are up 130, and the Nasdaq's up 57. I will see you early Monday morning, taking a couple days off, for your morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.